Hi, YouTubers. How are you today? Today, guys, I'm coming to you with a summer seafood boil. I hope everyone is well today. Today, guys, you're going to love this recipe. Okay? Without further ado, let's do this first, guys. We have corn, sausages, onions, lemon, and shrimp. And that's what you want in your summer boil. I'm going to teach you how to do this recipe step by step, and you guys are going to love it. Now, this is what you want to do, guys. First, what you want to do is you want to season your water. I already had this water boiling. Can you guys see it? Awesome. Okay. What we're going to do now, we're going to take this. We got butter for our recipe also, guys. And take, I got two whole onions and three lemons. I'm gonna put it down in the water so that it can boil. This is a part of your seasoning, okay? So we got these onions cut up in like pieces and we're gonna put these in our water, okay? This is your summer seafood boil, okay? And what you wanna put in here next, guys, is this. You wanna go in with some garlic powder. You're not going to be eating these lemons, even though Mommy Ray would love to. You want to put some garlic powder in here. And guys, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Creole seasoning, just a little bit. Okay, this is a summer seafood boil. These are good for weddings, parties, very simple. Now, the main thing that you want to do is you need some obey. So what you want to do is you want to put your obey in there. Okay. And once you have all of that in there, guys, kind of just want to wind it up a little bit, mix everything together. And then you want to go in with a pint of salt. Okay. Now this is going to be your seasoning. Okay, your water's boiling. And your lemon and your onions, your obey and garlic pepper is in here with a little Creole seasoning. Okay. And then next what we want to do is we want to go in with our potatoes. You can use red potatoes, white potatoes, the potatoes of your choice. Okay. We're going to let this boil up, guys, for about 7 to 10 minutes. That's what we're going to do. Okay, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, now all of this has boiled up, guys. Your onions, your beautiful lemons. You're not going to eat that part. You're going to take these out. I'm just going to take all these onions out and the lemons, and I'm going to put them back here. We're not going to eat that for the summer seafood boil because this is your summer seafood boil guys so i'm just going to take all of this that has boiled up in my water and gave me this awesome flavor that we're going to put our sausage and our shrimp and corn in here okay so we're going to remove all of this okay those to boil longer Okay, guys, now that we got our onions and lemon out, this is what we got left, our white potatoes, because I didn't use red. Like I said, guys, if you wanted to, you could. This smells amazing. Okay, next, what you want to do, guys, because I'm feeding my neighbors today, I got plenty of corn. You don't have to use as much as I did. Okay, we're going to go in with that corn just like this and put it into that water, okay? Because your corn is what's the next thing that's gonna take. We're gonna let this corn, it takes a long time, guys. Let me finish up my sentences, okay? So we're gonna take the corn and put it in, okay? This is gonna boil for seven minutes. And then once my corn boil, guys, I'll be back with the next step. All right, guys, I'm back. Okay. 
I let this boil for seven to 10 minutes. Your potatoes are in there and all your love is out. Now guys, what we want to do next is this. We want to go in with our sausage. Okay. It's not going to take the sausage long. I did have to change my pot guys because it was too little and it wasn't going to hold for six people. Okay, put those sausages in there, guys. Your corn's boiled, your potatoes boiled. I'm gonna let the sausage boil for like five minutes and then I'm gonna come back and put the shrimp in and I'll be right back, okay? All right, guys, I'm back, okay? What I have here, guys, I have some regular margarine and I have some garlic and butter that you have a choice of using. This is my step-by-step -step summer seafood boil. Guys, this is an awesome seafood boil that you will love and you can't go wrong with it. You can use the butter of your choice. I'm using my garlic butter to, to finish it up with. You pick the one you want. I'm gonna go in now with my shrimp, guys, that I cleaned out. I cleaned the babies up and left the tail on. It's gonna take five to seven minutes to boil. And where our seafood summer boil will be ready, guys. Okay? You just wanna put them in there. Let them stay in there five to seven minutes. Check your boil to make sure you don't overcook your shrimp. Okay? I'm gonna leave them in there about five minutes and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here's our summer seafood boil. Potatoes, sausages, and shrimp, guys. This is an awesome, easy recipe, step by step. Your summer seafood boil. And what you wanna do now, guys, is go in and get some of that corn out. This should be able to feed you at least six to eight people with what I made here. Okay? So this is what you want to do. You want to put it in here just like this, guys. Okay. An awesome recipe. Summer seafood boil. Not too heavy, guys. Awesome. Okay. All right, guys. This is what we're looking like. Okay. So you wanna take your butter, whichever butter you're choosing to use, take some of that flavor that you made with your love in it and pour it all over your seafood summer boil. That's how you want this, guys. Just like that, okay? If you guys enjoyed this video of my summer seafood boil, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a comment, guys. This is an awesome recipe. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. Voila! Bye-bye.